was announced in 2007 by Steve Jobs and changed the mobile phone industry forever. Since then, Apple has improved its iPhones in many ways. This is the evolution of the iPhone. Back in 2007, the Nokia 1200 was one of the most popular mobile phones. Apple completely changed the industry when it launched the iPhone. It was a touchscreen phone with a 3.5-inch display, which was huge compared to Nokia's 1.5-inch display. The phone was more than just another standard mobile phone. It also had many applications, a camera, and good performance for a phone at the time. But all this came at a high starting price of $499. For this price, you could almost buy 10 Nokias. Besides being cheap, the Nokia had one other benefit. It was almost indestructible. Next came the iPhone 3G in 2008. It could connect to 3G networks, which significantly improved the speed of mobile internet. GPS was also built in, and the App Store became available. In 2009, the iPhone 3GS was announced. The phone had a better camera, was a lot faster with 256 megabytes of RAM, which was roughly twice the speed of the previous iPhones, and the 3GS had a 32 gigabyte storage option. But the starting price was $599. In 2010 came the iPhone 4. The iPhone 4 had a front camera so people could use FaceTime and make selfies. This was also the first iPhone with a high resolution retina screen. The iPhone 4 had a better camera, was a lot faster, and $50 more expensive. Then came the iPhone 4S in 2011. The iPhone 4S had a better camera with 8 megapixels and an option for 64 gigabytes of storage. And Siri also became available. Hey Siri, what is zero divided by zero? Imagine that you have zero cookies, and you split them evenly among zero friends. How many cookies does each person get? See, it doesn't make sense. And Cookie Monster is sad that there are no cookies. And you are sad that you have no friends. Wow. I just got roasted by Siri. In 2012 came the iPhone 5 with a bigger 4-inch display. The new lightning connector made the iPhone 5 charge faster. It also had a better front camera. And it was faster again. In 2013 came the iPhone 5C and 5S. The iPhone 5C is basically a more colorful and $100 cheaper iPhone 5. The iPhone 5S has Touch ID, which uses a fingerprint scanner in the home button, so you can log in just by putting your finger on the home button. The iPhone 6 was released in 2014. The display got bigger and the retina became HD. It had a storage option for 128 gigabytes. The iPhone 6 Plus was released at the same time. It was a larger version of the iPhone 6, and it was $100 more expensive. In 2015 came the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. 3D Touch was introduced, and the front and back cameras were improved, and the speed increased even further. The iPhone SE released in 2016 was basically a smaller and cheaper iPhone 6S. In the same year, the iPhone 7 was released. The headphone jack was removed, now you had to use a lightning cable headphone jack or use the wireless AirPods that were released at the same time. The iPhone 7 was water resistant, the front camera was improved, and a 256 gigabyte storage became optional. At the same time, the iPhone 7 Plus was released. The iPhone didn't have one, but two cameras at the back. These dual cameras considerably improved the quality of photos and videos when zooming in. The iPhone 7 Plus was also faster. It was sold for $769. The iPhone 8 came in 2017. It had wireless charging. With the glass cover on the back of the iPhone, you can charge your phone on a wireless pad. Other than that, the iPhone is almost the same as the iPhone 7, except for the price, which went up by $50. At the same time, the iPhone 8 Plus was released. The iPhone 8 Plus is a bigger version of the iPhone 8 with a dual camera at the back and costing $100 more. The iPhone X was also released in 2017. The home button was removed to enable a larger display on the smaller phone. Face ID was added. This way you can unlock your phone using facial recognition. The iPhone X came at a very high starting price of $999, making it the most expensive iPhone at the time.
In 2018, the iPhone XR was released. It has a slightly bigger display. It was sold for $749. At the same time, the iPhone XS was released. The iPhone XS is faster than the XR, has a storage option of 512 gigabytes, and a starting price of $999. The iPhone XS Max has a slightly bigger screen, and it comes in at $1,099. The most recent iPhones are the 11, 11 Pro, and 11 Pro Max in 2019. The iPhone 11 offers a night mode for better images at low light conditions and has a wide camera feature. The front camera was improved to 12 megapixels. The iPhone 11 Pro has as many as three cameras on the back. It is also faster and comes in at $999. The iPhone 11 Pro Max has a larger display and is sold for $1,099. Just when I was ready to upload this video, a new iPhone was announced. The second generation iPhone SE. It looks like an iPhone 8 with the speed of the iPhone 11. However, the price is $399, which is very cheap for an iPhone. Over the years, Apple has made many iPhones, from the first iPhone in 2007 all the way to the second generation iPhone SE in 2020. And who knows what the iPhone will look like in the future when we extrapolate existing trends of larger displays, adding cameras, and price increases. The iPhone to be released in 2050 will have to have a 15.5-inch display with 10 cameras and cost around $2,499. Of course, I'm joking, but I am very curious to see what the future will hold. Please subscribe and